Welcome to the UCCX Administration and Scripting course series. My name is Anas. I'm a senior collaboration engineer with CCI certification. The series is designed for beginners and experienced engineers looking to advance their skills in UCCX. We'll be covering a range of important topics like UCCX integration with Cisco Unified Communications Manager, administration and configuration, terminologies like trigger point, call control group, CSQ, resource groups, and etc. We'll be also exploring UCC scripting in great detail with examples such as menu scripting, variable usage, holiday handling scripts, and much more. Without further delay, let's uh, start the session. The topics covered in this series are categorized into three sections. The first one is uh, basic understanding of UCCX with call flow. This is really important to understand how the call is relayed from uh, the PSTM side or from the caller side uh, and landing it to the UCCX and then to the agent phone. And the second one is integration of UCCX with Cisco Unified Communications Manager. Again, an important topic. Um, knowing that you will be able to fix the UCCS in case of any uh, trouble or failure. The final and the most important one is scripting, which we will be covering in great detail. Um, UCCX is having a lot of features ample enough to um, satisfy any of the enterprise requirement. Now let's look at the call flow. So this is a basic call flow of the UCCX. On the left hand side, we have a PSTN phone with directory number 1001 and is a PSTN user. Then it is, uh, we have a cube and CUCM and UCCX. And uh, uh, on the bottom box uh, that I represent is a switch. And then uh, below that is uh, two phones connected, let's say agent phones. So, agent phones now let's assume that the PSTN user is placing a call uh, to plus one four zero eight six two five one zero zero one uh, assume that that is your call center number um, then the PSTN will be relaying that call to the cube cube is a uh, Cisco unified border element the industrial term for cube is uh, SBC which is which is session border controller and uh, when the cube receives the call it will be uh, forwarding to Cisco Unified Communications Manager uh, using a dial pair. When the CUCM receives the call let me show you in the real time when the CUCM receives the call it will be pointed to CTI route point. If you look at the configuration of CTI route point, you could see that this IP address is nothing but the IP address of UCCX and it is registered with uh, call manager. Now, uh, this is your call center number. The call that is received from the queue is landing or uh, pointed to CTI route point. And CTI route point is pointing towards UCCX. That's what I have highlighted here. 192.168.0.11 is nothing but the IP address of my UCCX. So CUCM informed the UCCX about this call. And inside UCCX, and inside UCCX we have trigger with the same number of that of uh, CTI route point in call manager. So the CTI route point in call manager and uh, trigger in UCCX is one and the same. Let me quickly clarify that. So if I create a new trigger by going here and add new an extension 5005, then there's going to be a CTI route point created in Cisco Unified Communications Manager. That means CTI route point in Cisco Unified Communications Manager and the trigger in UCCX is one and the same. So now, now the UCCX know there is a possible incoming call 
to UCCX. Now the task of the UCCX is to inform CUCM about the IVR port. So uh, UCCX is supposed to select a free IVR port and inform the same to Cisco Unified Communications Manager. Now uh, Cisco Unified Communications Manager will have the details of uh, the IVR port, right? IVR port is nothing but a CTI port, right? And on the UCCX side, if you look at uh, Cisco Unified CM Telephony Call Control Group, uh, this is the terminology that we use inside UCCX. So we, are, we can either call it at CCG, a call control group or the IVR ports. Now CUCM is having the details of the free uh, IVR port or the CCG or the CTI port. We can call it uh, any way. Now the CUCM will be placing the call to any of the IVR port or the CTI port. Call will be landed to UCCX and uh, inside UCCX we have uh, a Cisco script application where uh, the trigger CCG and the script is bundled together. If you look at this particular page, you could see the trigger point mentioned here. You could see the script mentioned here and also you could see inside the trigger you could see uh, the call control group as well. Now the call is landed to UCCX and uh, it is pointed towards the right uh, Cisco script application. Now how the call is handled is completely depend upon how you have programmed your script. So uh, basically there are two methods of selecting um, the user agent. The first one is based on the resource group. Resource group is nothing but the pool of uh, uh, agents. The other one is selecting the agents based on the skills. So that will be uh, based on the CSQ. CSQ will be pointing to either resource group or resource skill. We will get into those details in the later sessions.